my name is Jess Taylor. I'm a visual artist based in Adelaide, South Australia. My work explores a personal fascination with fictional horror. I have a particular interest in female depictions within horror, as well as monster stories. I have a particular interest in digital technologies. Everything from 3D modelling and 3D printing, through to video, photography, and more recently, virtual reality works. My interest in digital technology really comes from this kind of tertiary interest in how we as humans want to represent the world around us. Often in my sculptures, I'm kind of transforming into monsters or I'm cut in half or all kinds of absurd, macabre things. A lot of the times, horror's narratives are awful because they're trying to illuminate the confines of the society we live in. And if my work could do one thing, I suppose it would be super flattering to think that it could make people question things or make people conceive of other ways of being and acting in the world. Recently, I've kind of embarked on two bodies of work. The first one was my second virtual reality piece, which was titled Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain was this world where voyeurism is allowed to run rampant. As a player, you put on a headset and you are walking over these massive nude female forms. And that was a way for me to draw people's attention to those voyeuristic impulses that exist in society. The second group of work I made, I made a new body of 3D printed work. And the kind of impetus of the work was thinking a lot about love. In my personal life, I'd lost a close friend and also I'd had a new child. And that kind of forced me to think about the ways that I love people, the ways that I have been loved. And so from that, I, I kind of drew on myth and symbolism to try and figure out what love has been in my life and perhaps what I might like it to be going forward. Having a studio at ACE and being selected for the residency program was really exciting and I feel came at quite a pivotal moment for my career. So in 2018, I'd completed a master's by research at UniSA and November of that year, I had my second child being given a centrally located, huge studio space in a reputable gallery program, not only, you know, in a very tangible kind of financial way allowed me to feel like I could focus on my practice more, but also provided that energy to spur me on, to make me think that, you know, people saw value in my work and that it was worth negotiating the difficulty of having an infant and, and trying to practice and all of those kind of things. I'm really happy just to not only be a part of ACE's journey, but also to have been able to met and work alongside a really exciting group of emerging early career artists.